Klaus to come visit them. But this is really where the magic happens, where we go and we buddy up with them. <coughs> people will tell you more when their guard is down. So, dude, look at look at this place. I mean, you got people everywhere. It smells good in here. The food's good. Like, this is awesome. You know, what? T tell me what, you know, how are things going? And I go, well, they're going pretty good. You know, he was giving you what? Whatever he said. So what's your what's your biggest struggle right now? Like what what, what would you if if you have any? I mean, what's your biggest struggle right now? He said, well, I mean, I can't feed all the people that are coming in, you know. And so you would you would actually have found that in that stage and asking questions, you would have found out that he doesn't really have a problem of attracting people to his business. His problem currently, based on what he told us, is that you know there's a lot of people coming in and I'm super busy. That being said, he's already acknowledged that he needed signage. So it doesn't mean that it's not a problem that we can't address. But in this time, we need to ask some questions from him. We need to find out like what's, you know, what 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 are, you know, what are your big struggles? What are your goals? I mean, you guys have been here six months. What are you hoping to see happen? He might have told you, if you would have asked it, he might have told you, well, I mean, honestly, I can already tell we're gonna outgrow this place. I can't see us being here much more than a year. How in the freaking world can we expect someone to spend eighteen, twenty thousand dollars? if they don't plan on being there for more than a year or two. You know what I mean? And then we have to rip it down and move it. So the point is, is that we treated this second step when we were there. Take, come on in. Come, on, no. come on into your own office. Okay. <laughs> um, we treated this second stage when we went to Party. take pictures as fact-finding, and that's not really what it was. That was just us buddying up with them and being friends. After we see what he wants, we... <laughs> <clears throat> kind of understands intentions. The new thing that I think we need to be doing on every deal is we need to be giving them a, a, a statement of value. So not anything that has to do with signage. We need to come up and create a new, a new, uh, a new statement of value. This is good for someone that's already wanting signage and we're already kind of at the next step. In this step, he just needs to know who we are and what we stand for. You know, So that they could say, we're ICU. Larry Yurko, the founder, president, CEO, he's been in the industry for 28 years. We, our goal, our mission for you is to provide you with the signage that you want, not what we want. Okay, it's your business, it's your money, it's your lifestyle, it's you know, it's your livelihood. Our goal is to find out what you need, and then we'll provide that for you. We're going to do it in a timely, effective, and most importantly, cost you know, cost efficient manner for you. So we do that in this first step. After that, we go back to the desk, we come back to the office, and we provide, we we provide creative department information based on what you gathered from them. So that information could be, it's been in business three years, there should be some detailed notes in the notebook, it's been in business three years, he plans on staying there forever, he plans on leaving in two years, whatever we gathered. Super nice guy, I know that his kids go to school with my kids, or you know, you need to know personal information about him, it's not about the business yet. Here's what I do know, right now they just have a banner, you know, strip mall that he's in it's not the nicest place it's kind of you know this particular place isn't isn't super fancy so I don't think we want to do an overkill big fancy backlit giant channel letter sign we probably want to look kind of more like the other signs that are in the area but give him a, a look and appearance that pops and makes him stand out from everyone else also keep in mind it's a barbecue joint you know I've not been to many barbecue joints that have big lit up flashy signs it's it's supposed to kind of feel like like mama's cooking kind of thing, you know? So we're gonna give that to Jill, <coughs> or whoever is working the design for this particular project or for this particular person. And what we wanna do is we wanna give them really like good, better, best options. We wanna draw up very basically, not to scale or anything, a sign that might be channel letters, a sign that might be a single-faced vinyl letter, you know, middle of the range sign, and then maybe just something very inexpensive, like just to, like the very basic, most inexpensive sign you could you could show them. You want to give them three options. When you schedule this appointment, so after you've taken pictures, you're going to schedule a, an appointment to come back for this for the for the, basically for the third interaction with them. When you do that, we're going to come back and we're going to provide three different things. So the call, the new call, is going to go like this. <coughs> yeah, so we'll have these. So now I have three. I have three different proposals. So, guys, I want to show you kind of what we drew up here now. When I was here the other day, you kind of mentioned that you're only going to be here for three or four years. Um, you know, you're going to revisit the information that you talked about last time. Here's what we did: we gave you three different options. I just kind of want to show you what you could do uh, if you decide to do any business with us. This first one here, this is going to be backlit channel, blah 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 blah. This is like the most expensive signs that you can do. These can range 
for something like this, I mean, these can be anywhere from 20, 30, 40. I mean, we can make a hundred thousand dollar sign like that if we wanted to. Typically in the 20, 30, 40 thousand dollar range. These are kind of the middle of the road. As you see here, this is a single face. It's still backlit, still got the same warranty. Awesome sign, just a little different in the design. These are more in the middle of the road. I'm thinking this is probably kind of more so what will fit you guys, kind of based on what you told me. These are going to be the, you know, eight to twelve thousand, something like that, in the middle of the road. And then this is just something more basic. This is kind of like just to get you by, you know, just as something that's better than what you have, but it's probably not going to last forever. It's just kind of a basic sign. <clears throat> so I wanted to show those to you. What do you like? What do you not like? What do you hate? You tell tell me, you know. And you're going to basically slide them over and you're going to let them start telling you. We're not necessarily asking them, or we're definitely not asking them to buy anything. And in fact, right now, though it appears as if we're presenting product, it appears as if we're on to the third step, we're actually just starting the second step, which is fact finding. Fact finding in the sales mastery is designed to be fact finding about their buying mode, about what they will actually ultimately buy, not about them. We fact find about them and the friend, okay? Now I wanna look at them, I wanna show this to them, and I wanna kinda of watch them and see where they go. He's gonna to gravitate to probably one of them. He might say, well, dude, I love that, but I love that, but I'm probably more like that price range, you know? Cool, so what do you love about that? Well, I love the color, I love this, I love that, it looks great, perfect, what do you hate about that? Oh, I don't like that. <coughs> At this moment, you should probably have a notebook and start taking notes. Okay, cool, so you love that hate that just so you know Kyle just so we're on the same page right now I'm just doing some fact finding with you just tell them what we're doing there's a lot of steps to this, this is a big decision so currently I'm just kind of trying to gather some information so give me everything tell me everything be totally honest with me um, price point I mean where do you guys where, where do you fall I mean you guys kind of like looking for something more like luxury you know whatever big top of the line or you know Nathan honestly I mean would you say these usually run 10 to, eh, probably, probably need to be in that range. So boom, now we've, we've, in the first step, or not the first step, but in the first stages of this conversation, we're identifying exactly what, <coughs> we're starting to identify what we're going to have to provide for them. Now if he says, I'm a middle of the road kind of guy, but he's talking about backlit channel letters and LED light and all the blah, 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 this display, well dude, we need to, that's our job to fucking divert them back to what we need to do so like this this right here again we skipped we skipped right over fact finding and went right into product presentation we were treating this as if we were presenting something to him when in reality we should have been asking a lot more questions what we would find out here is that yeah I mean yeah, I, I, I think we could you know I, I like that look that'd be great you know I'd really like it could you do it this way can you and they'll start you know start tweaking it so we're gonna make all those notes after that, we're going to say, we already kind of have an, an idea. So, Kyle, if you don't mind me asking, um, you know, based on kind of what you've seen, like, is this, is this kind of like, is this kind of the angle you want to go? Because what I'd like to do is I'd like to take this back to creative. I'd like to have them, like, really fine-tune this. Let's get it dialed in to the right size, exactly the colors you want. Let's try to find, let's start to kind of narrow this down. Does that sound good? You want me to do that? <coughs> to some degree, we're asking permission to move on to the next stage. Okay, so now we know that this is the look that he's going for. This isn't the sign he's gonna buy, but it's kind of the general idea. We've got notes on him. We know his general budget. We know a little bit about him. We're gonna take these and we're gonna just forget about them. We're not gonna have anybody waste any more time on something that they don't like. We're gonna bring back to creative. We're gonna come back and we're gonna give them all the information that we got. We're gonna have them drop a new sign exactly the way they wanted it, to the specs, to the color, Kind of, and in the meantime, also kind of communicate all this stuff with myself, Casey, Larry, so that we make sure that we're creating a sign that will fall in that price point that they're wanting. Keeping in mind, we might not agree with what they're saying. They might be saying that they want a small little sign, and, and we might be thinking, dude, that's not gonna matter, but look, at the end of the day, it's their money, you know? We wanna try to influence them to do the right thing that's good for their business, but at the end of the day, it's their fucking money. It's not our money to spend, it's their money, so we'll let them spend their money the way they want to. After that, we go back there with the revised drawing. So now we're only back with one drawing. We've got all the data that we need, so we know what they want. <coughs> we're still in fact finding, though. All right, we're not in pro product presentation at this point. This is this is kind of like a segue. Oh, was that Jenny? This is kind of a segue <coughs> into product presentation because now we're kind of showing them uh, an idea that they might like. But that's not actually what we're doing. We're still kind of fact finding because they may not love that. 
between then, between the last time you were there and now, something could have dramatically changed with them. <coughs> After you left, they, they could have started talking and realized that, you know, maybe they do want to go more. Maybe they talk to their partner and they realize that they want to spend more money than they thought or that they can't spend any more money. They're learning this with Walker. So at this point, we're going to go back with the revised drawing and we're going to ask more questions. What we want to find out is what do they, what, where can we hone in on something that they're 100% about? If they're anything other than 100%, we're going to keep going back to creative until we get exactly what they want. We don't want to ever go back and be presenting product and especially giving price if they're not 100% convinced that that's the sign they want. Assuming that they say, Kyle, this is perfect. Like This has everything that we want. It's the size that we want. It's the color that we want. They already have indicated before that this is the price point that they want. They might even say, man, that's really awesome. Is that going to fall into that kind of range that we talked about? You know, they might ask that question. Once they've said this is 100% what we want, this is what we're going to do. The new sheet is going to have it's going to have some kind of verbiage on it. There's going to be a, some a signature section there. There's a signature section. At the <coughs> oh, there is. Oh, client approval? Yeah. Oh, perfect. So there we go, it's already there. So so Kyle, this is everything you want. I know that you want it, you like this, this is exactly what you want. Kyle, let me ask you this. If I was able to, if we're able to go back, I get creative to, 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 to send this over to production. We get to price it exactly the way you want it to be, um, affordable terms, all that stuff. We were able to get it installed to fit your schedule around the timeline that you have with the upcoming event that you have, whatever their situation is. Um, and most importantly, well, like we made you a sign that like made you freaking happy that like you were pumped about. If we could do all that, is this the one you want to move forward on? Definitely, definitely cool. Uh, and assuming the price is right, we're ready to move forward, right? We're not shopping. We're good. We're, this is the one. I want to get a commitment from them right now. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to have you guys, especially on these smaller price points. I don't want to have you guys spinning your wheels going back and forth. It's okay to pre-close someone, dude. If the numbers are right, are we good? I mean. It, you don't want to waste any more of my time, do you, do you Kyle? No. Like, dude, it's, it's business, you know. So, in the five-minute friend, we're all a fucking friend. Once we get into fact-finding and product presentation, it's it's the flip. It's that light switch we talk about. So, we're flipping the switch, and I'm in control. And honestly, dude, you will gain so much respect from somebody when you say, look, man, is this, this is the one we're not shopping around? This is it? We're good? Because I want to send this to production and get, get them all going if this isn't it. Perfect. So, if I can find it, if I can fit in your budget, we're good? Perfect. I'm going to just... Sign off on this. We're good. I just need a signature there saying this is the one you want me to move forward on. And we're going to get them to physically sign off on it. What that means for you is that now you're bringing back to the office. This is the sign that they're going to go with. We've got a signature for approval from them saying that this is the one that they want. You've signed off on it saying that you've been there and you're going to turn it into us. Every single deal, when we get to this point, here's the secret to sales mastery. This is the secret to everybody's success that I've ever worked with and, and every dollar that I've made in sales. At this point, we are not. We should not be moving forward unless we're like 99% sure we got a deal here. They kind of have an idea what the budget is. They love the sign. They love you. They're not shopping around. They've signed up. We're good. All right. You should not be getting objections after you give people prices. It just doesn't need to happen if you do it right. It takes a little balls because you got to ask some questions early on that might feel kind of weird. But, dude, I'd rather feel weird early on than after I've wasted everyone's fucking time, you know. Um, weird is weird, right? Well, yeah, but I like when you said it takes little balls. What if you have big balls? That? Hey, Larry. We're live on Facebook, just oh. so you know, before you, <laughs> before you jumped out whatever rabbit hole. <laughs> so here's the deal. So now you've brought this back. This is when you should be excited. <laughs> For, to be honest with you guys, not to discourage all this other stuff, but going and making contact, getting a design drawn up, all that stuff, that's not what we need to be excited about, all right? This is when we're fucking excited. Now you got this, this is when I'm like, all right, now we got a deal. All the other stuff is good. We need to fill the pipeline. You need to be busy. Like, that's all good. This is when things start to get good. So what I want you to do is bring this back. I'm not here every day, so bring it back. Show it to Larry. Go over what you found. I want to see every one of these. I want to get, we'll start a group meet, but I want to get a picture sent to me with this, and I want to have a conversation with you guys before this goes to creative, <coughs> or before Larry starts bidding this thing out, all right? What I want to do is I want to get on the phone with the guy like we did with your couple of your guys yesterday, and I want to get do a quick manager call with them. Hey, what's going on? This is Nathan over at ICU. How are you, man? 
Good, good. Hey, listen, I know you've been working with Joe. First of all, how's Joe been doing with you, man? It's a team call. You know, how's Joe been doing, man? Awesome. Hey, look, so I've been seeing your design come back and forth across my desk all week. It looks awesome. Are you guys excited? I mean, is this this is the this is the one, right? Yeah, yeah. What I'm looking for is a definite no. All right, these calls are not intended to get them to say they're gonna buy. I don't care if they hem and haw, I don't care if they're not a hundred percent in love with me. What I'm looking for them, what I'm looking for in this call is for them to say, uh, yeah, I mean, he, he said he's gonna get a price, but I just tell you right now, we're not doing, I'm looking for that like big sign that we were off track, okay? What I'm gonna say, so Joe went over kind of the look of this, we're gonna set it out for bidding, we're gonna get some prices on it. You know, what's your install, you know, what's your what's your time frame? Are you looking to get this thing installed right away? Are you, you know, are you on a, are you, are you, what's your deal? <clears throat> I wanna get him to start telling me my goal is to get him to start puking on me. Well, we got this going on, and you know, I'd, like I told Joe, I'd really like to have that thing up by this, and blah, 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 blah. Perfect. Uh, lastly, man, Joe went over pricing with you. Get kind of ballpark what this is gonna be. Most guys are gonna say no, is my guess, okay? I'm not looking for him to say, yes, I know exactly what it costs, because he doesn't know what it costs. What I'm looking for is him to say, actually, you know what, Joe, I've, uh, to be honest with you, man, I have no idea. He didn't, I have no clue what this thing's gonna cost. Well, perfect, well, before we go any further, let me just give you, <coughs> <clears throat> Let me go back to that first meeting Joe had with you. We showed you the three options, right? So this is kind of like the middle of the line. This is probably, you know, these are the middle of the line signs. He went over that with you, right? Well, yeah, yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah, he did. Okay. So I'll just kind of give you an idea. I've seen these. I've, I've been doing this a long time. Probably going to be anywhere from 15 to 20, something like that. You know, maybe five to whatever. I'm going to give him a range. And I'm just going to listen for him to fly off the handle. That's my goal is I want him right there to lose his shit, you know. If I say 50 to 20, he's like, yeah, that's kind of what I figured. Uh, I mean, get it, get it under it even better. You know, I'm looking, I'm looking for that answer. All right, what I, what are really what I'm looking for is for him to say, oh, 20,000. I can't. I, I'm not spending 20,000. I do not want to be bidding out anything. I do not want to be wasting one single minute of Larry's time or anyone else's time with someone who's not even in the same ballpark. When I say it might be 15 to 20, he says, well, Joe was making it sound like it might be closer to 10. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, I'm just giving you a range. It's something like that, you know. The goal here is that I wanna have a conversation with him. I want him to know what's going on. So let's, listen, Kyle, thanks so much, man. Um, I'm gonna do my best to get it down to that range that you're looking for. Ultimately, I don't make the prices. It's all kind of production and install and stuff like that. Um, but hey, man, if you have any questions, here's my cell phone number. Uh, feel free to text, actually, real quick, am I talking to you on your cell? <clears throat> I'm gonna send you over a picture of my business card so you've got all my, and I'm gonna text him something because I wanna start to create new lines of communication with him so that if he does ghost on me, I can bring him back to life, you know. I'm gonna have a little conversation with him. Hey man, it's awesome, looking forward to doing business with you. If you need anything at all, just give me a call, all right? I'll let, make sure that Joe knows to get back in touch with you in the next couple days here. Get off the phone. Hi, Dad. So the point of this call right here is to lock in the deal. When we do this, when we follow and we're like committed to following these steps and we do not vary from them and we don't let the customer control us, we don't get really excited about stuff. If we follow these, by the time you go back with a well printed out drawing of exactly what they wanted with a contract, with the pricing, we already know the general ballpark. I've already kind of what if them on a few things. You're gonna go back and make closing real easy. Okay, you're not gonna need to use any fancy objections or you know, objection rebuttals or anything like that. You're gonna go back and the only reason that they couldn't do it would be if they just, for some reason, now can't find the funding, you know. But that's gonna be that's gonna be how we push it right through without objections, so. Boom. Do you have any questions?